Hi guys, good morning. Actually, it's 2 p.m. I'm going to get ready. Not necessarily get ready because I'm not doing my makeup or anything, but I'm going to go to the beach with Oyinda. Actually, let me text my daughter and see if she wants to go to the beach. And I hope you're not naked. Mm -hmm. Amanda, where are you going to? I thought we were going to the beach today. Yeah, I just want to. Well, I'm not doing makeup. I'm just going to do skincare and then. Where am I? Are you going to Coco Beach? Yeah, it's Coco Beach. From... Okay, well, I'm going home now. So I can't get it. Okay, because the boat. I mean, the boat leaves every hour. So... Yeah, we're going to Coco Beach. What else? I want to see. That's all. I'm just going to do my skincare so I can show you guys my skincare. Just do my skincare. Dress up and wear out. You guys saw Dara. Dara is home. Hi guys, let's get ready for the beach. Starting off with my hair. <laughs> I'm scared that these heatless uh, curls are not going to turn out the way I thought it was going to turn out. But I'm going to focus on the hair first. Let's just do my edges, we'll do skincare, and then we can take out and see what it's giving. Yeah, the boys are back in town. Yeah, the boys are back in town. She's addicted to the melanin Golden brown, golden brown It's funny how the tables turn around She told me to leave, she's missing me now Operator, turn up the sound Mix me down, mix me down I told the world cause you can see it in my eyes Don't have a short as in the town I'm praying for the lion's demise To the roof of the coop, let's see the sky They thought I'm sweet and I'm a rapper, let's sky Told my nigga no ticks to cut support or pay the price They stab my nigga, are we taking lives? I'm trying to buy you some Chanel's, but your size, yeah Told my plug I'll buy the bricks, what's the price, yeah? We took the wave to the masses, we felt the wave of pride I eat that push through your zip, I swear the time is tight yeah, I done some wrongs, I ain't make it right If we say we killed a the nigga, then he took a fly Arguing with bro, he said, why you eat a dike, yeah? 100k off my Nike, yeah, it's all love for the white, yeah She stay around the woody like she need a light, yeah Looking for me in my town, bro, I'm right yeah. yeah, the boys are back in town Yeah, the boys are back in town She's addicted to the melanin Golden brown, golden brown It's funny how the tables turn around She told me to leave, she's missing me now Operator, turn up the sound Mix me down, mix me down Youngers want my spot and couple olders hate me Cause I ain't getting booed or gray, I'm young and wavy Broke something I don't wanna ever be if you don't spend some pee, this shit you'll never see Power of the mind, uh Young black and bust quick with most kids Wear handcuffs before cuff lynch Free piece suit, I look like someone's husband Don't let the suit fool you, I don't cuff lynch Naked white women villa with my niggas Chatting to this chick like how much was your titties She's staring at my Cuban jewel, he ain't a biggie I'm glorious, notorious up in my city Woolly in the winter cause the streets cold But I don't roll with sheep, this hair is free goats Ain't another trio that can test the guys Them yep. and they can't even lost the test of time yep. Yeah, the boys are back in town Yeah, the boys are back in town She's addicted to the melanin Golden brown, golden brown It's funny how the tables turn around She told me to leave, she's missing me now Operator, turn up the sound Mix me down, mix me down I know you heard the he say and the she say 
Heard I keep the sweets on me like it's cheat day Niggas in Paris, I'm outcast, full like 3K Double R, whipping on the Champs Elysees Just made another milli Big business, this ain't nothing silly Sit in front row, got my brothers with me And when you see a real nigga, better take a picture Said I ain't a top boy, man, I beg to differ Taking selfies with my air hostess Bags checked in, still I can't take no check I grew up in the trenches, feeling like I'm so blessed Couldn't walk in my shoes, could never take those no steps, uh Kill the game, lights out like it's bedtime Came a long way from the yellow bricks and the petty crime Guys, I'm ready. This is what I am putting on. The bikini is from SS Label. The glasses IXI Label. I'm just wearing label and label, okay? And then, this is the bag we're going with. I'll see you at Cocoa Beach. Okay, I'll see you at Miko at Cocoa Beach. Actually, I'll just see you. So what I might drop, bitch don't talk, you going out tough I done made six and for the whole week Plug on play, then I'm going on tea I done made four, five, seven on what? I hop in that scat and I'm better your block Nigga want scrap, well let it go rock My little nigga got it, I bet he gon' pop I can make ten off face, no feeling Sis got like killing on smoking gorilla Cover my niggas, just caught that nigga That was running off dog, I know they gon' kill him Smoking on killer and taking your bitch on the trip And I'm fucked on the floor my villa I ain't got time for two things, bro These stupid ass hoes they feel us all in the pit and my bitches just call and they get it They know they just falling off thinning Chocolate vanilla can't hide so I hot that the dealer I caught a new car What do you think? Oh, you can appreciate it, clearly Yeah, I can work on it for Two days, a year Ten years When you get there, that's when you get there What? So it doesn't matter when you get there Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Please, why did somebody gift me man's perfume? Which one is it? It actually smells like a guess what what the hell? What? What? You need sex verbs. No no no. This is actually it's actually a guy's work. I'm going to send you a picture of it. And it smells so... It smells so manly. Ugh. Ugh. No, 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 no. No, he's... Oh my god. Kevin is actually the same friend. He's talking to my friend. Um, he was like, oh, Amy, I got you a Christmas present. I was like, oh, thank you. He actually gave me since I've been in Oyinda's car. Since then, since then, literally, I just kept it there. Because why did you get me a Christmas present? Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very appreciated. But why the fucking Christmas present a man's perfume? Like, don't just give me a Christmas present. Like, I can't even ask you for anything. Why did you get me a man's present? Hi, guys. Good morning. I'm going for a workout class. It is currently 6.36. The workout class is for... 7 30 but my cab is already downstairs because i was anticipating that it would be hard for me to get a ride this morning but it wasn't that hard so the cab is here going to beyond fitness for the stretch and mobility class i haven't done that particular class before i've only gone for the spin classes and then the bar pilates <sighs> i'm actually kind of scared because i've lost all my strength i've lost my balance i'm literally starting afresh like a new person that's just trying to work out but we start today tomorrow we'll go to the regular gym i need a little bit of energy all right
I'm back from my workout class. It was really good. I actually, you know, I told you guys in the morning that I booked the stretch and mobility class, but I was late. Yes, I had to move it to the lift class, and the lift class was actually really good. Like that's actually what I needed to jumpstart my new workout journey. So I did that. I'm going to start going to the gym three times a week. So we're going to do one workout class. That's either the Beyond Fitness or the Low Studio Pilates, Spain, any of those workout class classes once a week. Probably such an attention seeker. And then we'll be going to the gym to the other side. I'm trying to ease into it. I don't want to kill myself. Like I don't want to do too much, you know? Just chill. Chill vibes. Today is Monday. What are my plans? Okay, so before I just have a few I don't even really have a lot of things to do. I just want to organize my life, organize my mind, do a lot of organization, clean up. Because I've just been cleaning shallow, shallow, shallow cleaning. Like I actually need to properly clean. And then I'm going to respond to emails, just little things like that. And then I'm going to redo my race card, redo my media kits. And yeah. I guess that's it for now. The time I'll figure out what to do, I want to start reading a new book. I'm reading the Cleopatra and Frankenstein. I want to save it for later. I want to save it for a vacation. I want to save it for when I'm in the mood to fall in love. Because right now I'm just like, you're pissing me off. <laughs> you're actually pissing me off. Because what do you mean? are back in town yeah the boys are back in town she's addicted to the melanin golden brown golden brown it's funny how the table turn around she told me to leave she's missing me now operator turn up the sound Mix me down, mix me down I told the world cause you can see it in my eyes The other shorters in the town are praying for the lion's demise To the roof of the coop, let's see the sky They thought I'm sweet and I'm a rapper, let's sky I told my nigga no ticks, the cuts have got to pay the price They stab my nigga, are we taking lives? I'm trying to buy you some Chanel's, but your size, yeah Told my plug I'll buy the bricks, what's the price, yeah We took the wave to the masses, we felt the wave of pride I eat that push for your zip, I swear to buy me time yeah, I done some wrongs, I ain't make it right If we say we killed a nigga, then he took a fly Arguing with bro, he said, why you eat a dike, yeah? 100k off my Nike, yes, all love for the white, yeah She stay around the woody like she need a light, yeah Looking for me in my town, bro, I'm right here Yeah, the boys are back in town Currently multitasking. I want to tell you guys about the series I've been watching recently. It's absolutely insane. It is insane. Look, I'm working on my laptop here and then my iPad is over here and I'm watching. Like I'm using my side eye. <laughs> that was to show you how much I'm not concentrating on what it is I'm doing. But I've been watching the boys for like a couple of days. Took you please, took you such an attention seeker. No. No, go, go, go. Go, come here. Come here. Look you here. Anyway, I've been watching the boys. It is so graphic. It is so insane. <laughs> like it's so crazy. Anyways, you guys should watch it if you like. Like, if, hey, English. If you like crazy, like unpredictable movies, well, not a movie, it's a series, but like, watch it. It's, it's crazy. The first. Like within the first 10 minutes of the show, 
you do understand what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what just happened? Anyway, that's what I've been doing. I've just been on my laptop and on that, and then I just posted. I just posted my video with Meshki. How you guys can see it? Anyways, Tokyo is so kingy, and he just always wants to be in my business. Like, leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart beating fast. Let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass. Let a nigga know that he arrived. Sleeping on your level cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, nigga. Yeah. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying So tell me mama please why you be drinking all the time Cause all the pain he brought you still linger in your mind Cause pain still lingers on mine On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find The good news is, nigga, you came a long way The bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way The green is better, life better than Hi guys, good morning Today is Wednesday Today is Wednesday, I just got back from the gym I want to film for TikTok today, so I'm going to try and I'm going to try. I'm going to curl my hair, but with you know heatless curls or this, because I feel like we've all established the fact that I cannot curl my own hair by myself. So yeah, we're doing heatless curls. I actually just go back from the gym and I change into my room so that I can do that and then go and shower, eat do my devotional like have a bit of time because it's just 10 o'clock i want to start filming by like two so we have like four hours for the hitless curls to marinate before i then have to take it out i feel like i am now a pro at this hitless curls thing <laughs> and we're not gonna speak too so soon so the hack is hair serum Spray a little bit of water, hair serum, curl it, and then just wait. So yeah, I want, yeah, you know, when I had it installed, there were edges. I'm trying to brush in the edges with the rest of the hair color. I'm not doing edges for that. So yeah, I'm filming two, two different videos for TikTok. So I'm filming uh, eyebrow tutorial, and I'm also filming like, I'm also filming a affordable makeup routine because I filmed my last makeup routine and you guys know I don't use um I don't really use drugstore makeup anymore which is basically just affordable makeup anymore because I've built my collection you know I'm just in a much better place with brands sending me products and like what I can afford so I hardly use like drugstore products anymore but i still have them from when i used to use it so and it's not like it's bad quality or anything it's just you know my taste has changed <laughs> so i'm going to film a video using my more affordable products and just show you a routine with that i'll probably film for tiktok and show you guys as well on youtube because this vlog i've just been at home i'm not doing anything i feel like it's going to be short and you guys have been on my ass about short videos so i'm really trying like my last three videos have been 30 minutes and upwards and that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to leave my youtube because you know what i was doing like 
I was trying to make my videos a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but I've just decided that I don't even need it to be aesthetically pleasing anymore. The, what you see is what you get. <laughs> what you see is what you get at this point. Okay. If you've noticed, I'm not doing a lot of edits anymore in my videos. It's just very low effort. Uh, a few texts here and there, music here and there, you know? My YouTube should just be like a behind the scenes. Whatever creativity I'm trying to do, I'll do it on short form. That's with my Instagram reels and my TikTok. So yeah, that's the vibe right now. I'm still watching the boys. It's even crazier. Crazier than before. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to watch the boys and Oh my hair. But I hope I do it well today. Because I actually need my hair to look good today. I will learn how to curl my hair one day. Definitely not today. I need to braid my hair soon. Because this week P is a little too much for me right now. I'm a little bit over it. I need a break from the weeks. And then we'll be back soon. Alright. Yeah, I take it for the road. Yeah, I take a glass for the road. People change, you know how it go. Had to rearrange the digits on my phone. Feels like they wanna take the source off of me. Looking at mine like it's your property. When we just tryna bowl properly. I ain't talking small, small, I want all the money. Hooper, all in your city, I'm a hooper. You do me, I'ma do ya. Full time, we gon' see who's the loser. The loser, amen, hallelujah. Pulling through your city, I'm a hooper. You do me, I'm a do ya. Full time, we gon' see who's the loser. The loser, yeah. I don't really understand How they think they know me cause they see me on the gram Met last week, I ain't wanna be your man It's like she wanna see me with a buggy in my hand But that can't be me, no way Cause I'm really tryna to touch and go Can't be stopped, man, I'm on a roll Really tryna give a dog a ball Man, I'm too fly when I'm walking So fly like I'm Jordan too high touch the sky, you too low, so don't force it. Your girls on my, what do you call it? What do you call it? Yeah, you know what you call that, don't lie, baby. Lying to my eyes, but they your vibe with me, I ain't surprised. No, I'm still trying to find millies. Gotta call another time, cause my line so busy. Hooper, pulling through your city, I'm a hooper. You do me, I'm a do ya. Full time, we gon' see who's the loser. The loser. I don't know if you guys know Valerie. Valerie just launched her brand. Kiro, Kiroka, Kiroka, that's why I call it, I call it Kiroka, I don't know if that's how it is pronounced, but you guys, she sent me a box with a robe, you guys know I do love wearing robes, I'm trying to build a collection of like, really good high quality robes, oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with me? First of all, I just want to say, this box smells amazing. I wish I can burn the box as a candle. It smells so good. But this is the robe. I just unboxed it for my TikTok. I would insert the clip. But this is what the robe looks like. It feels so luxurious. It looks so luxurious. I'm going to wear it to film today. Cause look at it, look. Look at that stuff. Yeah. I do love it. I really do love it. Actually, I think I look ridiculous wearing it like this, but it's fine. Show me a note. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is wrong with me? It came with a card. This is a card. And there is a note in there that says, Hi Amy, congratulations on 250k. I hope this room elevates your getting ready moments and makes the more mundane at home moments more glamorous and yes it will it will thank you so much Valerie. i love it i can't wait to wear it actually i'm going to wear it right now but like, yeah i'm done filming for today <laughs> it's currently 3 41 it's almost going to be 4 o'clock anyway so um i feel the video i filmed with gisela is either going to be before this video or after this video but for context, we filmed the video reading some Reddit questions and then <laughs> since then I signed up for Reddit and since then I've been getting Reddit notifications. Like they've just been sending me 
some of the craziest stories to my email so i want to read some of them for you guys today so let me just read let me just read this one because i read it last night because once the notification comes some of the titles they are so crazy i'm like but i need like you can't just send me this notification and i won't read it like i need to know what you're talking about all right so this is under our relationship advice it said my boyfriend the person is is the girlfriend address right now and the person says my boyfriend she's 32 her boyfriend is 41 looks looks at me with disgust and i was like uh it can't be that bad <laughs> also like is it that bad it's just so crazy that people would come to reddit with their actual problem i don't know i don't know maybe because we don't have any culture in nigeria so it's like I don't know. Anyways, my boyfriend was in the kitchen standing standing and from where he stands you can see into the living room. I was eating some chips on the couch. I don't know what made me look over, but when I did, my boyfriend was staring at me with what looked like a disgusted look on his face. <laughs> when we locked eyes, he immediately dropped his face, which I could tell him which I could tell he mentally shook the disgust off his face and smiled at me. I'm really in, in my head right now. I look back and it's been a really long time since that since he said I was beautiful or any compliments for that matter. I know I'm not like I used to be because Kit has a way of ruining your body and I just don't have time to make myself up. I made out working or taking care of kids. I don't overeat. In fact I rarely eat only once a day, maybe twice if I'm lucky. After my second, I just can't lose. After my second, that's a second child. I just can't lose weight like I did with my first. And with two kids now, I don't do my hair or makeup anymore. What would I? What would you do? And then there are some edits. First of all, she said, obviously I'm going to have to discuss it with him, but I don't want him to lie to my face either. Then years down the road, there's an issue with us because he didn't want to be honest with me. Whatever. The edit is. I haven't gotten to all the comments yet, but I appreciate everyone's input. It could be very well, it could very well be me projecting. That's exactly what I thought. But I mean, I also weird, you know. He's just someone. He's just someone who wears his emotions on his face, so that's why I'm concerned. But I can tell very well. But I can be very well just project, projecting what I feel about myself to him, which is a me problem that needs to be evaluated. I'm not trying to eat once a day to lose weight, but it but it is more like oh my god, she she types terribly. I must say. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's the story. Um, first of all, I want to say that I've read stories on the same Reddit about men coming to say ever since my wife gave birth, she hasn't just been the same way she has been ever since we had children i'm not just attracted to my wife anymore it is so dehabilitating to see these things especially if you're somebody that wants to get married in the future i want to have kids in the future it's so scary to go on the internet and see men talk about how they're falling they've fallen out of love with the women that they promised their whole life to because they have given birth and their body is not the same and i'm just like it could happen to you, it could happen to anybody. Like it's so bizarre and it's so insane for, for you to be someone that is so in love with your husband and he's just there over on the side looking at you in disgust, being like, oh, I would never get my bombshell wife again. I would never get my wife when she was a size extra small again because now she has given birth and her breast is falling and they are now stretched. Like it's so irritating to see and it's so heartbreaking to see. and. I won't lie, I say that I've never thought about it. Like something that I've thought about it. Hey, tell me, I thank you. I won't lie, I say it's nothing. It's something that I've never thought, thought about. It's something that I think about sometimes. It's like these are the things that you just think about, and you're, you're, you're just scared of the process of marrying and like having kids. And it's something that is I've read so many times. So in as well as people can be telling her, oh, she might just be projecting. It's just something that's going on in her head. She might not feel as attractive as she was before, obviously. But your husband, like the person that you're married to, somebody that's supposed to constantly reassure you. Even if you're not, you've not gotten your head done because you're busy taking care of the kids. You have two kids. You don't have as much time to get your hair done, get your nails done, get your makeup done. Like your husband, when you wake up looking in mess, your husband is one that should tell you, oh, wow, well, my wife is the most beautiful. Like, this is such a beautiful woman. Like, just always reassure. Like, why is this so hard? Ah, 
anyways please marry who loves you men love your wife i don't know like i don't know the real solution to it because most of them they are, they'll be like oh i love her but like after she, she got pregnant and she had her first kid i don't know what happened to the life it's like god please god please i'm constantly praying i'm constantly praying god please let us all meet good men that would love us even if we are at once that's the end of the tangent for this video please socially i've socially i'm in the mix because this job this so job is social and work yeah, yeah. combined yeah of course um but i also do value people who are out of the industry i value people i question and this is the cultural questionnaire so each as i ask every guest it's a good luck to you should know what i'm surprised you got that right one thing about me, let me not even talk too much. Yes, she goes. Let me not talk too much. You should have because we've got question number two. I've been using on nights, well, not nights, evenings like this. I have recently been using the Advanced Clinicals Retinol Body Lotion. I saw Kamsi. I saw Kamsi Namani. She recommended this. The, I mean, I don't think I'm old enough to start using anti aging products, but. I'm not using it on my face, so my body is fine. Anyways, and like my 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 palm, my fingers, they look kind of old. And I'm like, why does it look old? So I've been stacking this on my hands. But anyways, I started using it recently. Sorry, I'm listening to a British podcast. That's why I feel like I could do a British accent right now. Anyways, I started using it recently. And the consistency is really weird. I don't know how much I enjoy it because the i don't the way you apply it is weird so that's why i only use the and it's also because the better not anyways i just pack a lot on my body and walk around <laughs> and then you just dry it on my body because rubbing is in it takes forever and i don't have that time i mean i do but i just like it's just long anyways it's long i've been mixing that with the Dr. Till's Moisturizing Bath and Body Oil. This is the melatonin one. As you can see, it is almost done. So this is like my night body routine. Hi guys, good morning. 7.46, I wanna go to the gym. We're wearing head to toe Adenola. The bag is also Adenola. And then we have my workout mat from Petals. Anyways, I'm doing leg today, so I'm really scared and I'm trying to stall. But yeah, let's go. Hello? 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 Are you inside? Yeah, I'm inside. Okay, I'm coming down now. through my clothes these are the clothes i'm going to be selling they're a couple they're actually quite a lot of clothes <laughs> i've been saying i have just a few clothes i'm selling but they're actually quite a lot and some of them one only once some of them haven't even worn at all and i'm going to be doing a sale with retro addicts i've done it before i think like a year ago or two years ago so i'm going to send them off to her tomorrow and then she can post it and whenever she posts it you guys can go and shop and i hope you like it yeah that's all that's all